Hey guys, so today I want to show you really quickly, this is a tech tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can repurpose your videos for the all new amazing Instagram TV. Now I'm going to be sure to upload a video about, you know, what you can post on Instagram TV, um, you know, ideas and things like that. But with this video, I really want to show you how to repurpose your old videos and create new experiences out of them for your Instagram audience. So what happens is when you have your huge screen for uh, YouTube, you kind of want to recreate it so that Instagram shows exactly what you want to see. So uh, what happens is when we upload to Instagram, sometimes your frame is out of shot. If you're lucky and your video, you are centered in your video, then it shows up as centered. But I just want to show you how to recreate it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is this is an old video that I did. So I'm going to actually just copy these things. I'm going to take my volume off. Actually, no. <laughs> so I'm going to hit um, shift and hold it down. And this is awesome for iMovie as well because Final Cut Pro is really just an advanced iMovie, I feel like. I know some people feel differently, but this will work for iMovie as well. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is create a new project. So we're going to head into project. And when this opens up, I'm going to name it Instagram. Or let me name it IGTV because that's what it is. Um, sample. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to put this as custom. And this is really important. So this is what's going to change the size of the video and you'll be able to choose the frame of the video easily. And you want to make sure and put 1080 by 1920 because that's the measurements of our phone screens. Everything else you can leave the same and I'm just going to hit OK. Now you see that this looks like our phone size. So I'm going to hit my timeline and I'm just going to paste it. All right. So this is everything. Now what you want to make sure to do is now you can leave it like this if you want and add a cool background to it so that you remove the black bars. But what I'm going to do is be sure to transform that so that it actually is the size of the screen, right? So I'm going to hit transform and I'm going to scale, right? So I'm going to scale here and when I scale, what I'm going to make sure is, is that it's wide enough and I'm going to hit and drag, right? So drag and drop it exactly where I want it. And I'm going to make sure that I do the same thing to this as well, right? So you can do that or you can just hit copy. Let me copy that again so you guys see it. So I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to select this one and hit paste attributes. And I want all of that. I don't want the effects of my skin tone. I just want my scale and position. See? <laughs> so that's awesome as well. So I'm just going to center that. And so what's going to happen is this awesomeness. So you are going to have where This way your videos are not, and I'm just going to show you, this way your videos are not by mistake like halfway off because that's what Instagram would do, right? So it would be like this and you don't want that. So you actually want it to be centered and you can do that with any of your videos um, as long as they're, you know, face facing forward videos. <laughs> anyway, guys, so let me know if this is helpful for you. Let me know what videos you do this to. Like I have a bunch of videos here that I'm definitely going to do this to. And yeah, let me first export it. <laughs> so I'm going to just make sure that this is done rendering. And then I'm going to hit export and I'm going to export it. So I just want to show you this part for sure, because what happens is you want to make sure that your settings are still the same on your export as well. Right. So we're going to hit, we're just going to make sure your settings over here. Uh, oops. 
you want to make sure it says 1080 by 1920. And then you hit next. And so I'll tell you one thing. Um, I'm going to export it to my desktop just to make it easy. For me, I use AirDrop. Um, because I get the best quality on my videos with AirDrop, or you can just email it to yourself as well, or if you have a Mac, like text message it to yourself as well, but that makes it super simple and super easy just to get it to you. I hope this was easy, um, and I hope you understood what I shared. This can be used for basically any editing platform. You just want to make sure that you are actually putting in those numbers of 1080 by 1920. I'll put some more info in the description box below. Please like, share, and let me know what you thought or if you're gonna repurpose or if you're gonna, are you even gonna be using IGTV? I wanna know, like, did you start your channel yet? Did you set it up yet? I want to know. I'll see you guys soon, take care.